Hey guys, Max here from ShopSolarKits.com. Today's video, we're going to be reviewing one of the hottest new generators to hit the market here. It is the new generator from EcoFlow, the Delta Max. We've got an expansion battery for it here as well. Um, today's video, we're gonna be going over the quirks, the features of it. We're gonna be putting it through some tests, and then we're gonna talk about who this generator and the accompanying kits might be best for. So let's get into it now. So the first thing to note, the differences, is pretty much just the size of the Delta and the Delta Max. You can see here, this is the Delta beside the Delta Max, and it is a little bit bigger. The Delta has been super popular for its size, right? Around 30 pounds, easy to carry, packs a big punch. And the Delta Max, it might be around 10 or 12 pounds um, heavier than the original Delta here. Still quite portable, still has the exact same design as well. Um, it's just a little bit bigger and beefier, uh, but still quite manageable for most people. So the EcoFlow Delta Max, as well as each expansion battery, has 2,016 watt hours. The original Delta 1300 only had the 1300 watt hours. So this is significantly bigger and will give you a longer runtime. The EcoFlow Delta Max has a 2,400 watt pure sine wave inverter. The EcoFlow Delta 1300 had an 1800 watt inverter. So it really is a step up in terms of both battery size and output power. You're gonna be able to run a lot bigger appliances for longer with this, especially if you stack one or two of the expansion batteries along with it. The front of the units are actually almost identical. The only difference here is this Wi-Fi reset button that you can see on the front of the Delta Max. Same screen, one of the best screens on the market where you can see the runtime in hours. You can see your battery percentage. And then if you're inputting or outputting watts, it'll tell you how much is going in or coming out. You'll have the same USB outlets on the front. You've got two quick charging 100 watt USB-C ports and then four USB-A ports. To turn on all of these ports, you'll click this button and turn it on here. And the main power switch for the unit is here. The biggest difference with the EcoFlow Max as opposed to the EcoFlow is on the back of the unit. You'll see here that the EcoFlow Delta, it shared its three prong outlets with all six of the AC plugs on the back. So really, you're able to get three three prong outlets into the back of the EcoFlow Delta. In the Delta Max, you've got six individual three-prong outlets. So you actually can get six separate appliances into this, all of which that have the three-prong outlets. If you wanna turn on these outlets, you'll hit this button. These plugs are now live. You'll see here on the bottom, they've got the same 12 volt regulated output here. So, and to turn that on, you'll click this button and now these are live. You also have two of the barrel three amp 12 volt outputs here as well. So they've actually put the inputs for the Delta Max on the back of the unit. It's got the same protective case here that covers over the top. This is where the wall charger plugs right in. This is where the solar panel adapter plugs in. It's the same XT60 connector, but there's a bigger charge controller in the Delta Max, which means you can get around 800 to 1000 watts into this unit. Got our circuit breaker here, and you can hit this and reset your unit. This is my favorite new addition to the Delta Max, the fast and slow recharge from the wall. This will allow you to throttle how quickly you want to recharge your unit um, via the wall. All right, so let's do a quick demonstration of the fast and then the slow charge as well. So first we're gonna start with the fast charge. As you'll notice, as the input wattage is starting to go up, the overall recharge time is going down. We're up at roughly 1300 input watts right now, 1400, 1500. The fans just kicked on. Seems to be settling out around 1600 watts, which would mean that we would fully recharge the rest of this unit in around 58 minutes. What I'm gonna do now is flick it onto the slow setting and we can see what happens then. You can see the input wattage dropping down from 1600, 500. It'll settle down to just under 400 watts, which will take around three hours to recharge. So the benefit of the fast and the slow recharge is that since Delta is able to charge so fast from the wall, you plug it in, in almost 1800 watts. Sometimes if people have a gas generator or a wall outlet that can't handle that draw, it was tripping it. So some people will have like a gas generator as a backup. So if you have multiple days without sun, you're able to charge up your battery power generator with a little gas generator, right? But if you have a small gas generator and the inverter isn't big enough to handle what the EcoFlow Delta needs to charge itself up, sometimes that inverter was tripping. And so when you go with the fast and the slow recharge, you're able to recharge with whatever outlet you need. So it's a really nice improvement. 
All right, so one of the most exciting things about the Delta Max is that there are optional expansion batteries. You can get two expansion batteries that will add on to your Delta Max, giving you a total of 6,000 watt hours of lithium battery. The expansion batteries connect super simply to your Delta Max as well. On the top of your expansion battery, you'll click this open, and there will be the battery connection cables. You can see from the inside of the cables here, they just plug directly into the side of your Delta Max and then into the side of the battery. So it's super simple to connect. I'm gonna use extra battery port one because I've got the one battery here. And you take the cable, you plug that into your Delta Max and the other end goes into the expansion battery. You have now connected your Delta Max to the expansion battery, super simple. And these now act as one unit. So when you hit the bottom button, it'll shut off both. When you hit it again, it turns them on. So this is now one big 4,000 watt hour unit. When you plug in the wall charger to the bottom unit, you'll start charging both batteries together. I'm gonna to demonstrate that now. So we can see here on the bottom unit, once we plug it into the wall, we are getting the input of 1,587 watts. But you'll also see the output. And what that means is this unit is both simultaneously charging and then the output is going into the expansion battery. And the way that that works is charge flows into the first unit, through the cable, and up into the second unit. So you can see that the charge going into this unit, 724, is gonna be the same as the output from the bottom unit. That's how this thing works as one unit when you're charging it from the wall. So this works the exact same way with solar panels. We have our 800 watts connected Sun is still behind the clouds, but we're running it into the Delta Max here. You can see we're getting roughly 460 watts or so from our panels. Um, and then the output is the same here, you know, 117 to 125 or so. Um, and that's going through the cable up into the battery where we can see the same 120 watts or so. All right, for just a quick test, what we're going to do here is I've gotten a kettle. Kettles are extremely energy intensive, so they take a lot of power to use. While this is charging, I'm gonna see if we're able to power the kettle and what happens when we do that. The ability to charge and power something at the same time is called pass-through charging. So we're gonna test that with the Delta Max and we're gonna test that with an expansion battery as well. So we've turned it on. We are actively powering the kettle right now. I can feel it, you can hear it start warming up. The pass-through charging works. Now I shut it off and the wattage goes right back to the way it was. So another really cool feature that's available for the Delta Max here is the use of the EcoFlow app. You'll download the app, get it onto your phone, and then pair it with your specific product that you have, like this Delta Max, and then you're able to control the entire function of your generator from your own phone. This is really useful for mobile applications. We've especially found this for like van life, schoolies, RVs, those kind of things, where let's say you're lying in bed uh, and you wanna be able to shut it off or turn it on or do some specific function. Rather than needing to get up and move all the way through your van or your RV or something to turn it on or turn it off, you can literally get your phone, turn that on, turn that off, do whatever you want. You can shut down the beeps, you can throttle the speed for how fast it charges. You can control the entire generator right from your phone. And that is a super handy application. For people with RVs, we often get the question, how do you connect this directly with their camper? They've got the 30 amp plug that comes off the back, and how am I supposed to get that into the EcoFlow? The simple answer to that and how people have been doing this for years with even way smaller units than that is to get one of these 30 amp adapters. One is the 30 amp end and the other end here will go directly into the AC output of your EcoFlow. Then you're able to power your entire camper that way. You obviously don't get the full 30 amps, but you get access to the full 2400 watts of the inverter, and most people use this to run their campers perfectly. People were doing this with the original EcoFlow Delta 1800 as well. So this is a quick and easy way to be able to power your RV and boondock with a solar generator like this. So it's time to put this thing through some real world testing now. I've charged up the base unit to 100% and I'm gonna go throw a bunch of normal household appliances and things at it and we're gonna see how much battery it takes and how it handles all these things.
All right, for the first test for the Delta Max, this is a full-size washing machine. I've got a completely full load in here. We're gonna run the entire cycle on this unit, see how much battery it takes, and if this unit can handle it. We're at 100% state of charge right now, so let's see how much this takes off of it. Taking the power cord from the laundry machine, it's out of the wall, and it's now into the back of the Delta here. All right, so the load has finished and we're down to 80%. So we used 20% of the battery for a full-size large load of laundry. Not too bad. All right, so we just ran the full-size load of laundry on the EcoFlow Delta Max. So the next test, I have the full-size fridge plugged into it. And there's a freezer on top as well. I've got a coffee maker, I've got the microwave, and I've got a kettle, all of which are plugged into the Delta Max right now. Throughout this entire test, I'm gonna keep the fridge and freezer here plugged in. Then I'm gonna run a full-size pot of coffee, then we'll do a full kettle, and then we'll make a bag of popcorn as well. And we'll see, first off, if the Delta Max can handle all that, and then we're gonna see what the state of charge of the battery is at the end. Now that I've turned on the pot of coffee, we can see how much it's taking. We're roughly at almost 1200 watts it's taking to brew the coffee. The coffee is now done and we are down to 69%. Let's now run the kettle and we'll see what we get down to. You can see how power intensive a kettle is. It's up at around 1500 watts that it takes just to power a kettle. Keep in mind, kettles, coffee makers, microwaves are about the hardest appliances to run on a battery powered generator. So this is a very good test. We've just had the condenser of the fridge kick on. So now you can see we're up to almost 2400 watts for a few seconds and the EcoFlow Delta Max is able to handle both the condenser of the fridge and the kettle. All right, so the kettle is now shut off, we're down to 61%. Let's run the microwave now and we'll see what we get down to. So this is a really old kind of crappy microwave and what I've decided to do to run it is I'm gonna just do a full bag of popcorn. I'm just doing this because it's gonna take around almost three minutes to run on high for this popcorn so it's a very good test. I wanna see if it's able to run it for like basically three minutes straight. You can see how power intensive the microwave is. Uh, it's even more than the kettle. We're almost at 1800 watts continuous. You can see the condenser has kicked on again from the fridge. We're up to almost 2400 watts continuous and the Delta is able to handle this no problem. All right, so the popcorn is now done. We're down to 54% battery left in the Delta Max. Quite impressed actually how it's handled this test. We had a couple of times where the condenser on the fridge kicked on at the same time, shot this up to over 2400 watts and it handled it flawlessly. So this really is a beast of a unit actually. And we're still showing 22 hours of runtime as is right now. We've already done the full load of laundry and all these tests. First off, that's really cool. You still have 22 hours of just running things as is right now, which is awesome. And then if you had an expansion battery, you'd be at like 44 hours of runtime. And if you had a second expansion battery, you'd be at 66 hours of runtime. So you can really see how powerful and versatile this unit is, especially in a grid down situation. You're gonna be able to run your high wattage appliances, make coffee, make tea. Um, you could power a, a, an induction cooktop as well. That's roughly 1800 watts, just like the microwave and still be able to run your fridge and stuff. Excuse my messy garage here. I've got my old crappy jigsaw here. And what I'm gonna do is chop up these long posts. We're gonna see if the Delta Max can handle it, how much battery that eats up. We're currently at the 54%. So let's give that a go now. Cut all four pieces into more manageable sizes. And we're only down to 53% battery, so 1% was eaten up by that. So who is the EcoFlow Delta Max going to be ideal for? Well, we have a large inverter. It's expandable. You can get up to 1,000 watts of solar into it. There's an app that you can use to control it. 
It has one of the fastest recharge times in the industry when you plug it into the wall. There's a lot of features of the Delta Max and the expansion batteries that go along with it. So that means that it can be really useful for a lot of different customers and a lot of different use cases. We have tons of people that live in hurricane areas. So you're worried about losing power, losing all the food in your fridge, maybe going a couple of days, maybe even a week or so without power. This system, as well as the accompanying kits, will be perfect for you. If you live in an area that typically gets hit by wildfires and maybe your energy company is randomly shutting off your power, this will be a perfect scenario for you. You'll be able to bring it out, keep your fridge, freezer, make food, um, all those kind of things. So this will be an ideal situation for you as well. Somebody who's doing a, a van conversion, uh, powering an RV, a uh, schoolie, these can be an also a great option for you as well because they're portable. You'll be able to bring them in and you can expand them as well. 6,000 watt hours of battery is going to be more than enough for most people um, in a schoolie, in a van, in an RV. So really, there's tons of use cases for this can be used as backup, emergency backup. You can use it for a mobile application. You can use it to go camping and overlanding. Because of all the features, they've really made it useful to a wide number of people. And also, you can get it and then add on to it as you go. We've had people start with just the generator and then they'll add on extra batteries and add on some more panels and you can really grow this kit out for your own needs. Feel free to give us a call if you have specific questions here about the Delta Max. I'm going to link articles and useful information in the show notes about this and I'm also gonna to link to our top solar generator questions answered video which should answer 99% of the questions you have not only about this solar generator but about all solar generators in general.